Hi everyone and welcome back to another episode of our Pokemon VGC 2019 Battle Series. I hope you're all well, have a great day. We are on Thursday and as you know if you've caught any of the episodes so far this week, we are doing a brand new team every single day and they're a bit more on the gimmicky, meme side of things. So we're having a lot of fun so far. What we're going to do on Friday as well is put up a poll at the end of the week to say which team would you like to see a little bit more of going into the last week of the Moon Series which will be next week. So you guys can vote over the weekend. The poll will be up on Friday evening you can start voting and come Sunday night I will know which team we are going to take forward into next week or at least for the majority of next week because we can always squeeze in some other teams if you've got some that you would like to feature but on to today's team it's going to be another new one as always the teams are all in the description down below they will be a poker piss and a roll piss for you guys to try out check out just look over see what it's all about and try out if you'd like if you do try it out though remember to leave a comment let me know how you get on with it how much fun you've had with them today is going to be a bit of a it's not so much meme -y as much as more gimmicky because i feel like ditto is a little bit gimmicky come on it is isn't it but it's a cool pokemon got the imposter there we've got the Groudon and Yveltal kind of core going into this team. It's going to be a lot of fun to play. I really like this combination of Yveltal Groudon. We saw Arash Amati have a lot of success with in the 2016 format and it's kind of nice to bring back a similar kind of build to that. We haven't got the Jump Pluff obviously but we've got Ditto making up for that. So um, we're going to get into it today and if you'd like to see more of this team by the end of the episode next week you know what to do on Friday and go ahead and vote. But before we get into it guys just a quick reminder if you do enjoy this sort of content remember to leave a like on the video down there that little thumbs up. Uh, subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any of these daily battle series as well as our streams, our guides, our flinch squad circuit and our ultra series guides are done. They are ready to go when the ultra series kicks into action i guess in a, a week or two's time so make sure you don't miss them the subscribe button will allow you to get that notification to tell you that it's dropped on the channel i think that's how it works anyway but any enough of that enough of that let's get into the fun stuff let's get into this battle it's gonna be a lot of fun i'm uh, i'm looking forward to getting this one going i haven't tried ditto out at all this season and it's had a lot of success we saw it in a recent regional didn't we so we know it can do stuff it's got red card of course got to do that so the idea is to switch in on a Xerneas because <laughs> that's the stuff we like to do take a potential dazzling gleam it gets kicked out we're sitting there with a boosted Xerneas love and life so we'll see if we can do that today we're just going to search for our first opponent as always if it does take a little bit longer than what I'd like it to we'll cut straight to the chase and we'll come back when we find someone and like magic we have our first opponent of the episode so let's hop straight into team preview Oh, it looks like a great team. So we've got the restricted combination of Kyogre, Palkia, and then we've got Pelipper bringing a second Drizzle because one is not enough to every team. Then Araquanid, we've got Azumarill and Ludicolo. I'm I'm actually loving this week. We're, we're bumping into a lot of really kind of gimmicky, meme -y teams. So it's a lot of fun. We're playing those kind of things ourselves. So what are we going to do in this one? We definitely need Groudon, 100%. I'd say Tapu Koko as well. Xerneas, uh, what am I talking about Xerneas for? I've got Xerneas on the brain. I think Yveltal and probably we want Ditto, I think, yeah. Like, we've got to bring Ditto. Do I want Incineroar? Incineroar could be nice for the Intimidate, especially against the Araquanid and the Azumarill. We've got to be careful about that Azumarill if it is a Belly Drum variant, of course, but then we have Ditto that can become a Belly Drum Azumarill if we so please. Um, okay, let's get serious for a moment. Um, I think what we'll do is We'll lead off with Coco, Yveltal, and bring Groudon, and the Ditto in the back. Ditto, and we'll lock in and wait for our opponent. Going very old English, old English posh here. I love the look of this team though, that my opponent's playing, like I really do. I've got a soft spot for water types anyway, so a, a complete mono water type team. This is exactly what, it's exactly my cup of tea. My cup of tea, here we go. Right, looking forward to this one. This was like I was gonna play. I was. I've got two. We've got two teams left. Obviously, we're playing one of them today. But I'm keeping one of them for tomorrow. That I think is probably a little bit more favourable to myself than this one. But I do think this one can do some work. We've got Pelipper. We've got Ludicolo coming out for my opponent. There's obviously the fake out pressure there from the Ludi. The um, 
the, the Z move as well that we have to be a little bit careful of. Tailwind from the Pelipper. We've seen it all before in 2017 when the uh, the duck, the double duck. We've got a different pineapple duck here today. Um, okay, so we're going to protect Tapacoco. We've got the Sash on there. We've got a Salt Fest Evelto. So we could just go for an Oblivion Wing. We could go for Snarl. Um, what are we going to do? Uh, I think Oblivion Wing probably be better into the Ludicolo, to be honest. That's the one that I'm going to go for, because getting damage on that and then being able to suck a punch it potentially in the next turn would be good, but we could just see a fake out and a tailwind. we put my opponent in a nice position going into the, the next turn, but with Coco with his Sash, we need to be a little bit careful around it. There's a fake out coming out from Ludi. Yep, identifying the Eveltal is the one that can't, and there's the tailwind. Oh no! Okay, hopefully this Pelipa hasn't got Rain Dance because it's a good time for us to bring in our Groudon. Um, I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna do that, and I'm gonna do a Snarl or Oblivion Wing. I'm gonna obliv Oblivion Wing. There's a great, there's a great Funeral for a Friend song. Um, and yes, I was back in the day, big fan of Funeral for a Friend, but uh, they've got a great track. I'm sure it's called Oblivion, actually. Such a good band, such a good band. I don't know if they still gig. They probably do. But yeah, I've seen them. So I think I've probably seen them in Taken Back Sunday more than any other band ever. I've seen Icy Wind just making sure that speed control is, is on point here. Hopefully we don't see a rain dance. A rain dance it would not be good. But we are going to be slow evil till now. Hurricane, it hits out of the rain. How dare you, Pelipper. No confusion now. That's good. That's good. Get the Oblivion Wing. Okay, we're going to get this into the Ludi, which is nice. Wow. Is that a Salt Fest Ludi? It must be. It's got to be. Yeah, it would make sense as well with the... Um... Okay, we'll get we'll get Graydon out of here. We'll get Tapu Koko back in. You're going to probably... Oh, do we... Uh... Hmm... We could sucker punch the Ludicolo. Uh, I'm kind of tempted just to snarl here. I feel like we probably see the Kyogre come in for the Pelipper if it doesn't rain dance. And then a water type attack into the Groudon slot here. I just want to break the potential Sash on that Pelipper. We're not going to see that though. We're just going to see Grass Knot. It does break the Sash of Coco, which is a little bit unfortunate. A U turn coming out from the Pelipper into Evelto. I'm not going to do too much damage, but going to be allow my opponent to reposition now. I'd imagine the Kyogre comes in, which is ideal for the, um, the Snarl coming out. Hopefully, our Evelto is not blind, does not miss. Um, and there's the Drizzle. Drizzle, drizzle. What are we going to transform into with our, with our ditto? That's, that's the thing. Like, I'm like, hmm. I wonder if it's Scarf Kyogre as well. Uh, we will protect Coco this turn, of course. Um, hmm. Do we Sucker Punch the Kyogre? The Kyogre. Hmm. Not really too concerned about the Ludi. Um... Yeah, we'll suck a bunch of Kyogre, get some damage off onto it. It's likely scarfed in this sort of team. It's likely scarfed all of the time in the Moon series and the Sun series though, isn't it? So we'll just protect. We need to keep Coco around for later to deal with all these other threats. Suck a punch, we do connect. It's not doing that much. I mean, it's not bad. Icy Wind coming out. And we're obviously stalling out these tailwind turns as well, so that's the other big thing. And what's this Kyogre gonna do? Water spout. Just gonna do nothing. Minus one. It's chipped down. <sighs> yeah, big. <laughs> big scary damage as the tailwind does pitter out. Um <sighs> Kyogre probably retreats now. Um hmm. Do we bring in Groudon once again? I think we probably do. Uh and if Kyogre switches out, then it goes out before us, so we'll guarantee our weather up, whatever, if that Pelipper decides to come back onto the field. We'll just go for that Oblivion Wing into the Ludi and get rid of it once and for all. And hopefully get some health back at the same time. Right. Let's see. Drought coming out. Oh! It's not scarfed. Huh. 
Interesting. Scald. No. Don't burn us. No burn. Okay. RNG has been really nice to us today. Which is good. And there's the knockout onto the Ludi. But this does, unfortunately, open the door, pave the way for this Pelipper to come back in. Which is not great. Hmm. Could be the Palkia. Now the Palkia, if it comes in now, that's something I probably want to ditto. <clears throat> Ooh, it's a Raquinid. Hmm. Definitely not something I want to ditto, I don't think. Um, hmm. I'm going to suck a punch. Oh, what are we going to do? I think... Hmm. So I could get Kyogre right out into the field. Like, Kyogre's not going to be the best thing to... Like, the Pelipper's going to be the thing to transform into later. I'm going to bring Coco in. And I'm going to go for a Sucker Punch into the Kyogre. Although this is probably like the most unoptimal play because, yeah, this happens now. Um, Pelipper coming back in. Okay. Right. Yeah, we should have Oblivion winged the Araquanid. It's totally going to... It's 100% going to Liquidation Ivelto. We do get the terrain up. Coco's still going to be the thing that can really deal with everything on, on this on this team. Oh, no. Oh, no! Z-move. Let's hope it's into Ivelto. Ev Even though Ivelto's going to be like the one thing that we kind of would like to keep a hold of going into the, the rest of this game. It is into Ivelto. We're not going to take this, I don't think. Not in the rain. No, no, no. Spider too strong. Okay. Let's get Groudon back in. Because like I say, I want to transform into the, the Pelipper more than anything else. Um, hmm. Let's go for a Volt Switch into the Araquanid and... Do I just Precipice Blades in case? In case. I mean, I could Precipice Blades into the Araquanid as well. It's just if it protects here. It's a little bit awkward, isn't it? Okay, no protect. We're going to be able to get... I think the, the bad thing... Well, Groudon will outspeed that Araquanid. And it should be in range now of a Precipice Blades. It's just whether or not the Pelipper... Decides to attack here into the Groudon, which would not be good because we are going to bring the rain back up. It totally conflicts with everything that we're standing for right now. Okay, let's see. Tailwind, that's that's what we want to see. That's what we want to see. That's fine. And now we should be able to get rid of the Iraq when it. Then the Kyogre comes back in, which is going to be a job of, hmm, hmm. Do I want to sack Coco? I don't really feel like I want to, but I mean, yeah. We need to get the rain back up, uh, the sun back up. Obviously, that's the thing that we want to be doing. Although Pelipper's not so good out of the rain. Although we will get, just get thundered here. That's the big problem. Especially with the electric terrain up. Hmm. Could we protect? Oh, he didn't have protect. Huh. You don't have protect on your um, Pelipper. It's good information. It does have wide guard. This isn't good because we could actually be left with just our, our Groudon if we switch into Coco here. Because Coco is not going to take a Scald. I mean, Ditto might be able to take an attack if we don't see a Thunder coming out. We'll see. There's no water type attack from this Pelipper, so. Oh, it's Origin Pulse. No, we could have wide guarded. 
Okay, I mean, Palipet does take it. We're gonna go down to a hurricane, though. I think we lose now. Yeah, we lose that tailwind. Ditto was that... Is that undoing? Ditto, you... <laughs> Ditto the worst bird. Now we can't beat the Pelipper. Well, I mean, we, we potentially can. We, we can't, really. We definitely can't. Not a sword stance. Hop in hell. Hmm. Alright. Um, I think we'll protect here. We'll see what this Pelipper does. It's probably going to... I doubt it. Wide guards. We need to try and see if we can out, outstall this, this Tailwind, though. That's going to be the big thing. There's White Guard. Yep. And probably see a Scald come out from the Kyogre. Origin. Oh, it's Origin Pulse, of course. So, if Origin Pulse misses, we can still do this. I have confidence in you, Groudon. But let's Sword Stance, though. Let's get this. Let's get some power behind our punches. Because that's what we're going to be relying on. We just need one Origin Pulse miss. Or an Origin Pulse miss, and a Hurricane miss. We'll do the same. Just everything missing. Wide Guard again, yeah. You keep doing that, Pelipper. Don't worry about us. Miss? Yes. Come on. <laughs> I shouldn't celebrate like this. It's so bad, it's so bad. But you, I know you guys do it at home. Do it exactly the same at home. Okay. Right, plus two. Now, do we go for the Kyogre? I feel like we don't. I feel like we got Pelipper. How many turns of sun we got left? This is the thing. I feel like the Kyogre protects here, though. We've got three turns of sun left. Kyogre probably protects. Pelipper goes Tailwind. We know Pelipper hasn't got Protect, so we can take Pelipper down in two hits. That's amazing. There we go. There's a the Protect. Okay. There's a the Tailwind. Yep. So we can get the Pelipper this next turn. We need one more Origin Pulse to miss. Or do we go Precipice Blades now? Because I think my opponent doesn't think we're going to Precipice Blades. So we Precipice Blades now, and then we can beat the Pelipper. That's what I'm calling. No Wide God. No Wide God. We'll take this. We've just got to hope that a Hurricane doesn't hit. And, oh, okay. Okay. No! <laughs> we deserved it. We deserved it. We deserved it. I swear. Oh, this makes me sad. This makes me so sad. We nearly did a Groudon. You can't, you can't blame yourself. I'm totally blaming you, Groudon. But... Ah. We didn't need the Ditto here. The Ditto complicated things. They complicated everything for us. It was not the play. We're going to see Wide Guard again now, I reckon. And an Origin Pulse. We needed to miss. We need two Origin Pulse misses. Nah, no White God. And this is it. Yeah. Okay, good game to my opponent. Not the best of starts with the team today, but it's fine. It is fine. We can do some stuff. We've got one more game to go with this team. Before we end up today. So, let's make it a good one. The Ditto didn't do anything other than complicate matters there for us though which was not what we wanted but it's fine it's fine it's fine he tells himself hmm okay it's all right it's all right it's forcing the ditto into a match that really had no right being there in the first place but it's it, like that's the whole thing about these teams this week we're gonna bring the the meme stuff 100% at least we've got to see a cool team on the opposite side of the field as well, the, the mono water type. Okay, so we've got our next opponent, let's hop straight into team preview. Right, we've got Kyogre, Eveltal, Incineroar, Whimsicott, Ferrothorn, and our bestest friend in the world, Gorgeist. Here we go, so we're probably going to see um, a Trick Room element with the Gorgeist on this team, I think. You've probably got Tailwind um, through the Whimsicott, potentially on the Eveltal as well. What are we going to do here, though? I feel like Eveltal has a real good time against this team. We need to be a bit careful about the Whimsicott for sure. Um, what would we like to transform into with Ditto? If we were a Ditto, 
what would we like to be? Um, we could have two Eveltals out in the field. Could work. Two Incineroars. Two... Oh, uh, Kyogre Eveltal. Ah, uh, we could go Kyogre... Yeah, we've got Eveltal. Um, I think we definitely need... Can we rely enough? Yeah, I'm going to bring Coco Groudon. I'm going to leave Incineroar, and we're going to rely on Groudon to deal with that Ferrothorn. So that's a big, big thing. Okay, and we're going to have Ditto on the back as well. Let's do that and lock in. And hope Ditto this time is not the thing that makes us lose. Please, Ditto. Be the thing that makes us win. Do yourself proud. Do yourself proud, Ditto, and do everyone at home a good deed this afternoon. We want to see this work. Okay, the white screen. Gonna get anything. Okay, here we go. Getting into it. Right. I think Ditto as well is one of those Pokemon that you need to know how to use well and have a little bit of practice with it to kind of get the most out of it. Look at that shiny Gorgeist. It looks so good. So good. It's not in a great spot against us, though, is it? Uh, we know the um, Kyogre is not scoffed at all, going after everything else on the field. So we're probably going to look at that Gorgeist being the Trick Room Setter here. It does reveal King's Rock on the Coco. Of course, because we like to flinch stuff. Um, right, what are we going to do? We're going to foul play Snarl, Oblivion Wing, the Gorgeist. Gorgai's normally physically quite strong, so we'll foul play it, and um, we'll just go for a Vault Switch into the Kyogre. It probably protects here, but we can. I'm confident we can deny a Trick Room from this Gorgai's. Quietly confident. Kyogre going to protect. Yep, that makes a lot of sense. There's a Vault Switch into that slot. We can see this Gorgeist do. We know it's slow because it's big. It's a big one. It's not like ours. Shiny Gorgeist as well looks amazing. Okay, we don't actually pick up the knockout there. There's a trick room. That's fine as well. So fine. So fine. It's really alright uh, because we'll just snarl and we will bring in Groudon and hope we don't see a grass and a water type attack it into Groudon because if we lose Groudon it makes that Ferrothorn matchup way more difficult but we do have Ditto we've got to remember this all is not lost when you have Ditto to come back in on save the day but we're going to snarl right now just to lower the attack on this Kyogre um, and potentially do some nice damage to this Gorgeist as well Gorgeist is nice and bulky, isn't it? It is pretty it is pretty good. We should have dazzled as well. We could have got a flinch with our Coco. Okay. Get the sun up. We're gonna see Ally Switch. Huh. Okay, nice. And the Z move. Where are you gonna be into? The Coco, probably. Hmm. Yeah. Or maybe not, maybe the Evelto. The Evelto gives this team quite a lot of... Yeah, but this is not going to be doing anywhere near what it needs to be. Wow, I mean, look at that. It does nothing. Nothing at all. I mean, nearly get the Gorgeist. Get some good damage onto the Kyogre. <sighs> okay, what are we going to do now? I think we'll just stay in and snarl once again. Um... What's my opponent likely to bring in for that Kyogre? Um, Evelto, potentially. I think we'll just... Do we Fire Punch? No. Uh, I don't know. We could Sucker Punch. The Gorgeist. And just go for a Precipice Blades. It covers it attacking. Kyogre just going to protect... We're we gonna see the Gorgeist attack. Hopefully, it hasn't got Will-O-Wisp. Uh, Destiny Bond. No. No. <laughs> I should know this. We just played it yesterday. Please miss. Please miss. Please miss. Crowd on. 
The one time, the one time you want it to miss, it never misses. Maybe this is how you should approach matches from now on. When you're in that really awful position where you, you're like, okay, if my precipice bliss blades hit here, I win the match and I win the tournament. And that that's the point in time where you're like, okay, let's just do this. If 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 I'm just pray for the miss and you'll hit. Just yeah. Now do we bring in Ditto and get ourselves a good old Kyogre. Oh, Coco. I think Ditto. Let's do this. Let's get the rain back up onto the field. The goal guys is gone. And Cinero coming out. Perfect. See what this Kyogre is holding. So, let's go Impasta. Okay. Nice shiny brand new Kyogre. Activating the rain, getting us right in the driving seat right now. <laughs> okay. So, yeah, we totally threatened this Incineroar. Um, do we do? Do we just keep Snarling or Oblivion Wing? We could Oblivion Wing the Incineroar. And what's this Kyogre got? It has got Thunder. Hmm. It has got Water Spout and Scald as well. We could just snarl again, I think. Snarling isn't too bad, and I think maybe just protect Kyogre here, or Ditto here, just to get around this turn, this fake out. It's pretty obvious what we're doing, so I wouldn't be surprised at all to see my opponent fake out into the Valtol. Okay, Kyogre gonna retreat. We're gonna see Ferrothon come in. We need to, uh, we need to um, really become that incineral. That's what we need. Ah, uh, all right. Yeah, we we definitely need to become the incineral, but it makes it very difficult because ah <laughs> uh, of the the Kyogre. Hmm. Right, let's Oblivion Wing the Ferrothorn. Let's switch into Coco and try and become Incineroar with with our Ditto, because that's the only thing that we can do. Power Whip, yep. Hopefully Coco takes this. You should do <sighs> Knock Off. Oh no. No. We don't want this. This is not the thing we want. We don't want to become. <laughs> we don't want to become Ferrothorn. I mean, it does give us, like, a better time against the opposing Kyogre, but at the same time, we're facing down against an Incineroar that we cannot deal with. Ugh. The Ditto goes from bad to worse, doesn't it? bad to even worse. Verathon. Ah, oh, okay. Um, like our main priority now is getting rid of this Verathon, for sure. We don't even have Leech Seed! Come on! Um, oh, we need Leech Seed. We definitely need Leech Seed. Uh, ha. Huh. I mean, we can knock off the Incineroar. At least the opposing Ferrothorn can't lead seed Ari Veltal. We lost sight of the game plan here though. We lost sight that Groudon was our win con. I think another Oblivion wing will get the Ferrothorn, so we might actually be alright with just Ari Veltal here. Mm-hmm. There's the berry. Flare Blitz. Come on, Ferrothorn, take this in the rain, please. Oh my gosh. That was that was just that was pathetic. Ditto. Once again, letting the team down. Knock off, getting rid of our assault vest. Yeah, which isn't what we want. Uh oh, oh this is gonna be tough, Ivalto. It's all on you now, my friend. Um I think the Incineroar probably goes out for Kyogre. 
Yeah, we'll go for Oblivion Wing into that slot. I feel like the first one might protect. May it protect. Who knows? But the Kyogre's not really what we're worry worrying about too much now. If we can get rid of this Incineroar in two hits without proc in the berry. Is it possible though? That's the other thing. I don't know if it is. Okay, no switches, no protect coming out. Ah, uh, it's definitely berry range, isn't it? Mm hmm. To be fair, it did a lot more than what I expected it to do. There's another knockoff. And a Jarra Ball. Right, this is going to be the, the most important damage of them all. Oh. Yeah, we just. There's no way we can take another one of those. No chance. We need like a crit Oblivion Wing into this Ferrothorn to win this, and that is not what you want to rely on. Okay. Nah, it's just not enough. We got screwed. Ditto is just. Well, I mean, on paper, I like Ditto. I probably haven't been playing it optimally in this game either or oh, these games it's kind of scuppered us both times but good game to my opponent and we just didn't we lost the ground on we needed the ground on for this end game and we lost it carelessly and that is that but it, that is going to be today's episode guys so this ditto team will be going into the poll on friday whether or not you want to see any more of it there's another thing but it would be nice to change it up and bring it back and do a little bit better with it next week so you never know um I think it's an interesting Pokemon for sure, but it did more harm, I think, than good in these games. Or at least I did more harm with it than good. Not blaming Ditto for any of our outcomes. But I hope regardless, we've seen some nice teams today. Hope you've enjoyed today's episode. I definitely have enjoyed the games that we've played today, even though we come out of them on the 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 the, 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 the worst side. You know, we want to win every game if we can, but sometimes not the case. And as long as you have fun with it when you're not playing seriously, that's the main thing. That is the main thing, guys, to remember. So just going to say thank you so much as always for tuning in supporting the channel and all that jazz and uh, i just wish you all a great rest of your day whatever time of day it is wherever you are in the world just make sure you're taking care of yourselves and we'll see you for the next one with our last team of the week tomorrow so till then guys take care of yourselves and bye bye